Hey guys, welcome back to another extreme cleaning video. Today's video is packed full of cleaning motivation, so don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you're excited about it. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of the fun content. Now let's get to cleaning. So I'm upstairs cleaning in my bedroom right now and I'm using my e-cloth rags. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit weird in this shot, but what I do with the window and mirror cloths is I get one of them wet, which is the actual window cleaning one, and then I squeeze it out and I wipe down the mirror or window with just a wet cloth. And then after that, I take the polishing cloth and I polish it dry and then that's how I have no streaks and all that kind of stuff. So I got some questions in the last video and I hadn't fully addressed how to use those e-cloths. So I'll make sure and have a link down in the description box if you want to get one. My mom is gonna get one and she was asking me all kinds of questions and I realized I did not explain this properly. So hopefully that helps clear up any confusion if you were wondering from my last video about the e-cloths. So I'm gonna be cleaning with my Dawn dish soap and vinegar mixture. And if you've seen my shower cleaning video, this is one of my favorite hacks to use and I will show more of it in a bit. So I just put this in the bottom of the shower. I let it sit for 20 minutes. I usually do it on the door as well, but not on the stone because the vinegar messes up the stone. So anyways, and then I'm just using my Lysol toilet cleaner from the Dollar Tree and I had finished that bottle and I just let both of those things sit and soak for a little bit. So I went into the kids room and I'm just cleaning up the little bit of toys that were kind of messed up and then I'm just gonna make their beds. So let me know in the comments if you guys are bow people or not. I love bows and I got this huge pack from Amazon, of course, because I always buy everything from Amazon. And I got a bunch for, I don't know, I think it's like $15 or something like that. And that's only half of them. The other half is downstairs in a bin. And so anyways, I was re-putting those up because they were kind of scattered all over the place. And now I'm just gonna be pushing a bunch of throw blankets underneath the bed and our pool bag. And now I'm heading back into where the shower was soaking and I'm just gonna grab the wand that I have from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't seen the DIY video, I'll make sure and have it linked in the description box below, but you should go check it out. It's, it's, a, it's a fun video, I like it a lot. It's super fast, super quick, and I don't know, I think you'd like it.
So now that we're done upstairs, I'm gonna be heading downstairs and just cleaning up a bunch of stuff that was just kind of strewn about. This was actually my second day of cleaning. So I had been cleaning the first day and then ran out of time. So then started cleaning a second day and did the whole downstairs. So right now I'm just kind of fluffing up all the pillows, folding blankets, getting toys out of the way, putting them upstairs and just getting everything kind of picked up. So now I'm going to be using my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray in the scent Peony. I got this from Grove, which I'll have them linked in the description box below too. And I'm just wiping down the dining room table. I know somebody made fun of me in my last video for calling it a dining room table. I don't know what you call it either, a kitchen table, dining room table. I know it's very small, but we will be getting a bigger one soon because Hudson is going to be needing to have a chair. And right now we don't have a chair. He just has his high chair. So that will be happening soon. So keep an eye out for that. So now I'm just gonna be sitting down here pulling out some of these toy bins and decluttering, throwing toys out that my kids do not play with or sometimes we have just little trinkets or things from parties or McDonald's play toys. I don't know, whatever it might be, I was getting rid of a bunch of little toys that they don't play with. So that's what that bag is right there.
So now that I'm done picking up the kitchen and the counters and all the clutter and everything, I'm gonna be going in with my e-cloth that's for the kitchen and it has like a little scrubber right there on the corner and then the rest of it is just like the regular rag and it just picks up all the crumbs and everything that's on the counter and it does a really good job. So I'll make sure and have this one linked below too. And all I do is get it wet in the sink and then I just wring it out and I wipe everything down and it is phenomenal, I love it. You will see me in a minute using the ones for the stainless steel and I've gotta be straight up with you guys cause I'm not gonna tell you something that I don't believe in. But I don't really like the stainless steel ones that much. So for me, I don't know, maybe I didn't use them right or maybe they, I don't know, maybe something I did wrong, user error, I'm not sure. But I don't care for them, so I'm not gonna leave that link below. <laughs> but I do like the kitchen one, and I really absolutely am in love with the windows one. So now that I'm done cleaning up the living room, kitchen, and dining room, I'm gonna head into our guest bathroom, which is downstairs, and I'm just gonna be cleaning up everything that I used that day to get myself ready and cleaning up little things here and there. I'm gonna use my Lysol cleaning wipes to wipe down the sink and all of that stuff, and then I'm gonna be using those same Lysol wipes to clean the toilet. We read blind Lately, my kids have been filling up this sink with water and that soap and it is driving me crazy. They're putting their boats and their toys in there and all kinds of stuff. And I have to try and remember that one day I'm gonna miss these little messes and I'm gonna miss the disaster that was my house. I just have to keep it all in perspective that a clean house is not the ultimate goal, but happy kids is definitely my ultimate goal. In the books that we read blind don't forget to check out these videos that I have linked here for you. I hope that you really enjoy them. If you want to get to know me better or see more cleaning motivation, I know you're going to love these. And thank you so much for watching another video with me today. I'll see you in the next one. If
Fuck you, feeling like I'm missing something.